you are watching So Mungry's Sound Wave Sunday. Operation Question and Answer Initiate. Booyah! Hello, Autobots and Decepticons. My name is So Mungry, and I'd like to welcome you all to another Sound Wave Sunday. And I got a few general announcements before we start the episode, so let's get to it. First of all, I wasted. I wasted five days of my life playing Sonic Boom. Maybe the worst game I've ever put out on my channel, so I didn't know it was going to be that bad, so sorry for <laughs> making you guys go through that, but I've been trying to play newer games and stuff, and one good thing really came out of that. One good thing. I played Sonic the Hedgehog beforehand because of that game, and Sonic the Hedgehog, that playthrough, turned out spectacular. Every gameplay, every commentary was really, really good, and I'm not one to just say that. I Trust me, they're all worth watching. You guys should go back, give the Sonic the Hedgehog playthrough some love, give it some thumbs up, and if you're feeling ambitious, check out Sonic Boom as well. All thumbs ups, all favorites would really, really make me happy. Any comments you guys can lay on any of those videos would make me really, really happy as well. Second of all, I was going to play through LEGO Batman, but playing two full games at a time is very, very stressful. Uh, I pretty much played Sonic Boom every day and then edited it for, you know, five days straight. So LEGO Batman 3 is not going to be coming to the channel because I did only rent it. And Sonic Boom had more views and more likes and more comments on so I went with Sonic Boom instead of LEGO Batman 3, and that's kind of how new releases are going to go. If there's multiple at a time, I'm going to play the one that shows more interest on the channel, most likely. Not all the time, but most likely, and it was kind of a toss-up between these two, because, I don't know. I guess I was feeling the Sonic because I prepared for it with an original Sonic game, which was very, very awesome. Very awesome, very fun, very amazing. Other than that, next week, Smash Bros. comes out. Exciting. So I'll be playing that on the Wii U. Cannot wait. Thinking about doing some live streams. Thinking about doing some videos. I'm not exactly sure how I'll do some videos on it. I'll maybe just do some just random characters. I'm not like a pro or anything at it. And I just want to take the game with the approach of having fun with it. Not like taking it too serious. Win or lose, I don't really care regardless. So should be pretty easy to do that with that game. Alright, let's jump into the questions. Our first question comes from the Skulls of Goodness. Hey Mungry, do you ever get video games early, before release date? No, I am not that important. I have never got a video game early, not that I can remember at least. Have I? I've got some betas early and stuff like that, never an actual full release of a game. People don't love me, you don't love little Mungry. I just don't have the numbers for that, I guess, in subscribers. The subscriber base where you start getting video games early, I would say maybe 150,000 plus subscribers, but that's just a guess for me. Oh my gosh, I said to myself I would never use those two words combined together back in 1999. I owe myself three smacks of the face. Ah! Alright, next question. It comes from Mark Papalak. I totally messed up your name, my bad brah. Anyways, Mungry, will you do a giveaway on Christmas? Soundwave Sunday 119. Uh, I hope to do a giveaway on Christmas, but I really need your help. I really need everyone's help. Like, all you guys on my channel, I know I don't always bring you maybe a game that you specifically want to watch, but if you would just click on it and leave it a thumbs up, that would help my channel, like, tremendously. Or if you'd click on it and maybe leave a comment and a thumbs up, even a favorite, if everybody would do that, I could do so many more giveaways, and I am not a greedy person. I would give back to you guys like crazy. You guys know that. I make peanuts. Well, I don't make actual, like, peanuts like cashews. You guys know the phrase. I make actual cash, but I just make enough to live. Like, I make enough to pay my rent, pay my bills, provide myself with food, and then to buy some games to play them for you guys. And that's pretty much it. I don't make, like, extra money on YouTube. I'm not, like in a Mercedes Benz just rolling dirty with an iced out neck with two hot babes to my left and my right. Well, how would I be driving because then I'd be sitting in the middle. This it doesn't matter. I don't live a luxury life. I'm not even middle class. And I still do giveaways and stuff for you guys. I'm just asking for you guys to support me in my other projects instead of just supporting me on Transformers and stuff because I am not always going to do just Transformers videos because 
believe it or not, I get sick of playing Transformers games. I haven't played, like, War or Fall for such a long time just because I overdid it. And now I'm not saying that those games aren't great or anything, so don't get it twisted because those games are awesome. I enjoyed playing them and everything like that. But I'm a gamer. I want to play different games. I want different experiences. And I want, you know, just people to embrace all the different games that I bring to you guys because I put a lot of work into both the editing and the commentary to make it funny and to edit it good so that everybody can hear everything with cutscenes and you get extra pictures and all that good stuff not only on my channel here but my co-op channel that I also run Bro Bras. and if you haven't checked that out please go check it out and give it a subscribe check out the videos it's kind of a rip off on Game Grumps to be honest but Eric and I have fun doing it and we're different than those guys, so maybe you'll enjoy it. Anyways, I'm getting sidetracked. What I'm asking is for you guys to help me so that I can do more stuff for you, like giveaways. The more views, the more likes, the more comments, the more favorites, the more shares you guys give me. The more videos I can bring to you guys from a wide variety of games. I feel like this channel can be so much more, it's like so much more than just like Transformers content. I feel like I'm just like stuck in a ball. Like I'm going to continue to bring you guys Transformers games and playthroughs in the future. Don't worry about that. But I feel like I'm just like stuck in a hamster ball with like all this stuff around me that I could be sharing with more and more people. And it's just like the struggle to get out of that ball is real. You need help getting out of that ball. And that's what I'm asking from you guys. Even if you don't like the game, just click on it, leave a comment, leave a thumbs up, and that will help me get out of the ball and expand the channel so that I can do more fun stuff on the channels, like giveaways and stuff like that. It's a win-win for everyone. I don't go insane playing the same game, and I get to share other great games with people that I love, and I also get to give back to you guys. And believe me, I am very thankful for every one of you guys for helping me through this crazy awesome journey. Every day I wake up and I'm like, I have the best job in the world and the coolest subscribers that listen to me talk about basically nothing, just whatever comes to my head. And I'm just like, I am just the luckiest guy. But at the same time, I go a little crazy and I don't want to go crazy and I want to continue doing the job. And in order for me to do that, I need variety in my life, and I need your help to accomplish that. And I think now I'm beating a dead horse by saying this over and over again. So I'm going to stop preaching, but all I can say is thank you guys, and just help me, and I promise I will do more fun stuff, such as like giving back to you guys and other just like wacky things that you guys can think of or I can think of in the future. Alright, next question. Our next question comes from Element Dragon Link. Mungri, did you see the trailer for Majora's Mask 3DS? If you did, did you like it? And also, will you be playing it on your channel when it comes out? I didn't see the trailer. I saw the announcement. And no, I will not be playing it on my channel. I'm not a huge fan of playing, like, remakes on the Nintendo 3DS because I might as well just play the regular one. You probably get better graphics, a better watching experience. Plus, you don't get 3D on YouTube, so not really a huge point in doing it that way. I know there's like a couple new things like fishing in there. Also, for those of you guys that are huge Zelda fans, you're probably going to hate me for this, but I don't like Majora's Mask. I, I, I guess I don't hate it, but it's not one of my favorite Zelda games. It's not one that I would want to bring to the channel because I don't enjoy that one that much. I know a lot of people love it, and I know a lot of people hate it, and I'm kind of just like in the middle of it. Like, I feel like it's just an okay Zelda title for me. Our next question comes from Co-op Channy. Mungry, have you ever seen the Flash TV show? I have, and it's amazing. Soundwave Sunday, 119. Yes, I love the Flash TV show. So much that I'm really not liking Arrow as much anymore. The actors in Arrow and, like, the plot lines these days are super cheesy. Like, the acting has always been pretty bad, but now that the Flash came out and the acting in that show is a lot better, it just, like, makes Arrow just cringe-worthy to me. So, I really like Flash, and that is definitely my favorite show on TV right now. Our next question comes from N. LaBelle. Mungry, I thought I would ask this question because Thanksgiving is almost here. What do you do to get ready for the holidays? Well, I should practice eating because during the holidays I eat a lot. Wait a minute, I do practice eating. So, yep, I practice eating, but in all honesty, I really don't do much. When I was a lot younger, when I was a little kid, 
and stuff, there'd always be like things going on and like events and stuff like that. But when you get older, you really don't do that stuff anymore. So enjoy that while you can. I basically just go to my parents' house, have dinner, maybe open up some gifts if it's like a holiday where you get gifts or like even Easter it comes like it doesn't come in a basket anymore. I get like a cup of candy from them and I'm like, yeah, a cup of candy, booyah. But for Thanksgiving, I just go there and I get ready to eat. Our next question comes from Erosion271. Mungri, do any of us, your subscribers, scare or worry you with the things we say in the comments section and at live streams? No. Actually, I don't like it when I have a couple people arguing in the comments of my videos or just like saying trolly things to each other or maybe just like bad mouthing each other with some BM for no reason. I don't like that. I don't really care if you do it to me, but I don't like it when you do it to another subscriber because then that makes a person not want to comment on the video and I'm asking for people to comment on the video. So I just want people to make comments, good or bad. I like to hear them. I read them all. So you don't really scare me. I mean, I've seen it all. I've been through it all. Man, I went to college, okay? So doesn't get any worse than that, right? Our next question comes from t rex 99 Hey, Mungry, what is the scariest thing you've ever seen or done? Also, will you play Five Nights at Freddy's? Soundwave Sunday, 119. No plans to play that game. Sorry, bro. Not a huge fan of scary games. I usually like to play just, like, fun games that make me feel like joking around and stuff. Uh, for the scariest thing I've ever done, this is a huge disclaimer. Do not do this. I probably shouldn't even tell you this. This is, like not only scary but it's outright insane and dangerous but back in the day eric and i around when we were like 16 17 maybe 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 17 when we were, when we were driving a little bit there was this huge road in our city and we called it no road because it was like the biggest hill ever it was basically like straight down and he and i would take people at night there like they didn't know this was going to happen and then we'd crank Last resort by Papa Roach and say we couldn't like control the volume and then we turn off the lights and speed down that hill going like 80 miles an hour. Stupidest thing we've ever done. I've scared myself a bunch doing it when I was driving. Like what if the brakes wouldn't work or it's just like a car was coming at the road down below. But we would scare the bejesus out of whoever was in the back seat. So it was, it, it definitely was very, very dumb. And we, we weren't the smartest kids, apparently. So don't do that. Don't do that. Our next question comes from Ryan Conley. Hey, Mungry, do you still play Smite? And if you do, will you ever play with fans? Yes, I do play Smite. And I actually do play with some fans. I think he's a fan or he's a friend. Every once in a while, a guy named Penji logs on and he asks to play with me. And then if I'm feeling it or if I'm not playing ranked on Smite, I will. I do play Smite often. But not as much as I used to. So I'll hop on at least maybe like three times a week or something during the evening and play a couple games. But yeah, I do play with fans. Our next question comes from Cade Garcia. Yo, Mungry, are you ever going to do any more Transformer game Let's Plays? Soundwave Sunday, 119. Yes. Our next question comes from 1997 Hoosier. Hey, Mungry, are you excited about the new Star Wars Battlefront coming out next December? Soundwave Sunday, 119. Are you kidding me? I have a whole Star Wars Battlefront 2 playlist on my channel. One coming to Bro Bras in the future. I am pumped. I am pumped. Cannot wait. That game's going to be so fun. Cannot wait to chokehold some people as Vader. Yes. Our next question comes from Gear Prime 197 Yo, Mungry, what's your top 10 arcade PlayStation Network games? Soundwave Sunday, 119. Booyakasha! And I really can't think of 10 games, in all honesty. Like, 10 PlayStation Network or Xbox arcade games. <laughs> Is that bad? Let me think. Did I play any of my channel? Not a ton. Castle Crashers is definitely up there. I'd give number one to Journey, for sure. Can I think of a third one? Awesome Knots. Almost forgot about that. That was a very fun game back in the day. It's a 2D... MOBA, which is pretty unique and cool. And our last question comes from The Chocolate Fish. You should do a playthrough of Jack and Dexter. Great game. It's just like Sly Cooper. Is it though? I really want to know if it is. Or is it kind of tedious? You have to go collect things for people. Because I hate going on a hunt and gathering mission in all my games. 
And actually, I put this question in here at the end because I'm asking you guys, like, for series or games that maybe you would like to see me play. Not necessarily ones that you want, would want to play, but ones that you would actually watch me play. Because ever since I completed all the Sly Cooper games, I really haven't had an ongoing series besides, I guess, the Transformers games, but those aren't always in chronological order. Sometimes they are, but I, you know what I mean. But I kind of want one of those again. You know, I miss Sly Cooper. I love that game, but I want to really like the game, and I'm looking for suggestions, and I just want to be sure about it before I jump into it, you know? And it doesn't have to be a series. Maybe if you just have, a, like, a great game you want me to play, let me know, because... Ever since Shadow of the Colossus, I just feel empty when I'm doing my playthroughs. It's kind of weird to say, but I feel like I'm just like missing something. I don't know, that playthrough just went so good. I love the game so much and the commentary was just spot on. I just feel like I, I can't top it. And I want to top it. I want the adrenaline rush from that series that I had before. And I need your suggestions for games. So lay them on me, new or old. Just let me know what you think for great games that I would enjoy. And if you've been with me for a while, you should know what I enjoy already. So, I hope you guys all enjoyed this Soundwave Sunday. Don't forget to leave your super awesome creative questions in the comments below. And have a great, grand, wonderful Soundwave Sunday, baby.